Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. I am General Ming. We are here in the final level of the basic campaign, Megalopolis. Uh, so it's been it's been a long time since I have actually recorded this particular series. Um, for context, I had recorded at least a full week in advance uh, for the episode that had aired yesterday, uh, and this episode that you're watching right now i am recording about eh, roughly roughly 12 hours in advance from when it's going to go live uh, so the reason for that is that i was dealing with some uh basically recording tech stuff trying to get a uh a, apparently there was a whine in my videos that i hadn't noticed at all uh fingers crossed hopefully that's been dealt with i can't promise anything because um, I really don't hear it unless I turn my volume all the way up and every video sounds distorted when I do that. Uh, so my advice is, if you are hearing it, go ahead and turn the volume down on the video a bit. Uh, go ahead and get that, you know, ASMR action type stuff going on. And enjoy the video that way. Uh, and hopefully, as time progresses, I'll be able to go ahead and get my audio further fine-tuned so that you don't have to deal with that, um, that annoying sort of hum-hiss type thing. But for now, we are here in Megalopolis. We need to go ahead and reach a grand total of 5,800 prestige, which takes us all the way up to level 12, rank 12, I should say. Uh, a reward for that is only 10 grand, which really kind of seems a bit weak. And actually, that means that we don't finish the campaign at that either, so I believe that means uh, this last task here then, uh, where it says get the whale shark, We'll have a second task to have the whale shark. Uh, so, in the meantime, we should probably make a habitat for the puffers. We should definitely make a habitat for the lionfish. Uh, and in general, we're just going to kind of keep going, keep making the aquarium nice and um, popular, nice and profitable, and just continue to expand everything that we can. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and look in here because I noticed when I was prepping for this recording that this particular animal here says that it only has an 85% chance to generate prestige. Uh, I'm not going to do anything about that right now actually because I just realized that it's 21 out of 23 and these guys are 3 capacity each. But at some point we'll replace this corner tank here with a, uh, a wall tank and get that capacity high enough to maximize prestige out of them. Uh, the other one is that over in this tank we've got... Was that 9 Royal Gramas? 27 out of 30. They take 30, but they don't yet have 100% prestige. We're going to go ahead and just plop down one more. Fill out the capacity of that tank. That brings us up to 95%, which is a little bit better. A little bit more reliable. It's 2 extra prestige, theoretically. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit play, let time progress. We'll even kick up to uh, fast forward and just go ahead and get that done. What else should we do? I think the next thing we will do is... Uh, we've got all three of those, we've got none of those yet, or these three. And I can't put the... I'll put you in with these guys. You hate angelfish, you hate nothing. But we totally can, getting a little bit aggressively there, uh, we can grab one of these guys and throw you in here, and I believe if I put a second one in there, yes, then they get upset because then there's two of them. Uh, so I can only have one, which means we'll probably need several of those over time. So that goes, that takes care of that species. These guys and these guys I can actually put together in one habitat. Uh, I'm going to need, what, 15 of those probably, and I'm going to need... 12 of these probably if I had to guess. So if I call that 30 plus another lot, uh, I need a deep tank and I don't have deep tanks yet, but I can get one soonish. I just need to get more science. So instead we're gonna go ahead and do two tanks and we'll do wall tanks for the both of them. Uh, sure. That size is fine. One and two. Put the wall up like a so, like a so. Pause the game long enough to remove all of that. 
and slap down another staff door and then go ahead and play again I need power combined there's a one and there's a two and animal wise we're gonna do 15 of you guys there's the squirrel fish unlocked excellent uh, we will go ahead and take on the disco mushrooms next 15 of those we need some foliage in there for them as well plenty of eel grass in there to make them nice and happy and these guys should give me a 100% chance to gain prestige excellent we can see that our prestige is very slowly gaining which is nice and then we're gonna go ahead and just do as many of these as we can fit which is that many uh, and yes, that'll be for that tank, and we'll just go ahead and plop down a seagrass. These guys give me an 87% chance, which isn't great, but it's it's something. It's it's functional. Uh, and both of those do give me more science, which means we can chew through getting more animals very quickly. Unfortunately, as you can see, we don't generate a lot of science per day, or per whatever unit of time that's measured in. Uh, so we probably want to be looking at getting more science animals in here soon. Uh, the Coral Grouper might be a good call for that. You will eat animal size 1 to 3 and you have in you. You are 3, you are 3, so you guys would be consumed. That's not a great plan. Uh, Alright, in that case, let us go ahead and... Let's just do a singular... Pause this long enough for me to to, again, manipulate just what I have here in the world. I'll just do a nice little, like, 3x3 three three right there. Move the wall down like that. And cut out... No, cancel that. Can I get rid of this wall? I guess I can get rid of that tank first. Uh, corner tank. Bam. Okay. There. Uh, and then into this tank, we're going to go ahead and put the coral grouper just as himself. Uh, hermit crab, sure. That. I need a nice cave for him, and we'll go ahead and get him some e lettuce as well. Perfect. You are going to want some food. I'll give you a muscle dispenser right over here. Bam. That should be good for that. Now then. That'll help us get science here. You, you can see that that bumped us up by like 30 science, which means we can progress through that a little bit quicker, a little bit nicer. Uh, wall tanks, or deep tanks rather, are going to be the next thing that we do. Uh, and how do I want to do this? Where do I want to put things? Decisions, decisions. Uh, you know, I kind of want to save this area right here or um, another deep tank. If I do a deep corner tank like right there, that could be nice. Like that kind of a nice unbroken chain of tanks right there. Gonna take a little bit to get there though. Verity with a level up, make you better at feeding. Come over to this side and what do I have? I've got two of the lionfish. You eat up to size 4, and I've got you guys, which start off at 3 and get all the way up to 8. So I can put the two of you together. If I have the space. So 3 by 8 is 24, plus an additional 22 means 46. I don't think I have a tank that can do that. I do not have a tank that can do that. So wall tanks it is. We will do one wall tank, like so. And then actually, I'm going to do a server tank like that. I like that idea. Go ahead and just preemptively do this. Uh, just so that I have that prepped for when I need it. And then we can also do that. I do need another tool station, which I'll just toss in right there. Uh, you are size 30, which means a power combiner will work just fine for that. Connect you on there. And I'll just throw you... And we'll throw you there. Because I don't really care yet. Pancho with a level up. Bam. 
Uh, let's pause the game so I can put these three into this tank. One, two, and three. And then I can also put in those two there. Make sure that we've only got essential messages on because I don't care about the non-essential ones anymore. Uh, which means our only message is the welcome to the game. Cool. Now then, give me a cockle dispenser right there. Give me a muscle dispenser. But yeah, I'm going to want to move that around, aren't I? Uh, muscle dispenser here. Give me a cockle dispenser on this corner. And then plant-wise, I can't do any of those. But I can do this, this, and that. And I need six uh, cave capacity, which I can do like so. Bam. Life is good. Making progress on the animals, we get almost 380 a day, so that's pretty darn good. 380 a time, I should say. So we'll just keep chewing through that. We are pushing the limits there on uh, the next prestige rank as well. We only need to get to 390. So it should probably work as these guys are leveling up, but also when I add a uh, guest area over here, that'll help too. So let's go ahead and do like two of those with a bin on either side. You know what, let's actually not do... No, let's do what I was going to plan on. Uh, we will do a nice little area like that. Bump that one and this one. And then we'll put in plenty of basic toilets. One, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Oh, invalid placement location because I missed. And six. And then we can actually even do this with a wall. And then back here, I'm going to make sure I have a staff door. And then we can put in, uh, where are they? There, they're in here. Uh, a couple of sponge sinks. One, two, and a broom. One, one, and a broom. Make sure that's going nice and smooth as well. Make a progress on that. We are out of science to re- or out of animals to research. We can keep doing science-based ones though. Claire has a level up. We're going to just cap everybody basically in feeding, and then when they cap in feeding, we'll just roll down the list. That way everybody can handle anything that needs to happen in the aquarium rather than having to worry about specific specializations right now. And then later on as we progress I will um, reorient everything so that it becomes uh, a little bit more organized, a little bit more deliberate. Right now I'd like to get up to say rank 6 or 7 I think and just have everything unlocked. And then I'll probably slowly refactor everything. Or maybe not so slowly. I'll either do it all on camera in like, you know, chunk by chunk, or I might just do it all off camera, um, depending on how much of a hassle it's going to be. To be determined. Uh, I don't want these two bits there, though. And then I do need some nice benches. We'll just sort of do like one, two, three, four for the time being. Just to get them to uh, sit and stop complaining of being tired. Animal wise, what else we got? We got those. We do we don't yet have any squirrel fish. The lionfish eat up to four, so I don't want to put squirrel fish in there with them. Hmm. I could throw a couple of groupers in here, and I think I will. One, two. Although that's gonna be a problem because they wanna grow up, don't they? Um, right. Break that. Tell you. And you want more cave, which I can do by doing that. Have you move you to over here and put in one more cave. One more driftwood cave right there. And that'll be okay. You guys are going to grow up to be size 14. Uh, the 14 plus the 9 from you to be exactly the right size. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I am out of capacity on the filtration. Radio. 
So now we need to look at doing a basic pump. I'll just do one like that and I'll do one like that. And then I'll attach a... Uh, I don't even need the uh, heated one so I can just do like a... That. And I ranked up to level 5. Rank 5. Excellent. Excellent. We can start getting to the cold water stuff now as well as just general improvements. Uh, do we care what we start with? Not really. Do one there, do one here. Excellent. So now that that's all taken care of, what else do we want to do? What else is the goal? Do I want sharks? I need a Kung Fu race. Fully grown gives me a nice, uh, three nice sharks actually. That's an excellent trade. Uh, and some blue tubular sponges. Sold. They are warm water. They need 10 lighting. Do I have lighting? Probably not. I have 5 lighting, I need 10 lighting. So we won't put those in yet. 10 lighting is bring 5. Power lights. So... I need to adjust my chair a little bit. It's been a long hard day of working on stuff in the chair, so... Alright, what are we doing? What is the goal? I think the goal is going to be... First of all, to figure out why that one is green. Uh, she's now... Give me... The next light. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Alright, uh, what do I want to do? How do I want to do this? What is the next step? The next step will be... We'll find the next animal that doesn't have any representation. I've got those. I need to make a reef squirrelfish spot. Spot for the squirrelfish, I should say. Uh, you guys don't really have anything super fancy, so I can just sort of make a tank for you and toss you in. I think, unless... So you don't eat anything, you just don't like lights. What else do I have that would work with that? So I could do the squirrelfish with the yellow tangs and the red-tailed butterflies. I like that idea. What is that? That's at least 16 with some of those and some of those. I could probably just do like a, a deep wall tank at maximum size. That'll be enough, right? Uh, we'll do it like right over here. What's a good place to put this, do we think? Not just like right there, and then I'll I will add some space around the side of it here. Me like that and like this. And then we can do and we can do this. Tap door. And then I need... I will do it like that, and then we'll put in one there and one there. Nice little, like, bridged area. Uh, Animal-wise, I know I'm going to need some cave. What do I have for cave? I do get the pitted column at rank, uh, rank 6, rather. But it's going to be a bit until I can get to 630. So for now, we'll do one of these, I think. And that'll... That'll more than cover it. I mean, that gives me eight cave capacity. I need several of these. One, two, three, four should do it. That gives me 160 filtration. Should be okay. Animals, we will kick it off with one, two, three, four of those. Actually, let's do like seven of those. Or actually be smart about it and just do all eight. They don't grow up, so that's just 32 flat, but that gives me a 91% chance of getting the prestige from them, which is good. And then we can do 
these guys and we'll just do like one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Uh, and one, two, three, four, five, six of those as well. And now I just need to have more filtration and some uh, grass in there. We just do like a couple bits of kelp. Bam. And a little bit more filtration. Bam. Perfect. You would almost swear I know what I'm doing. You would be wrong, of course. But you might make the claim. I do want to try and put some hermit crabs in there as well. Uh, because these guys don't eat anything and they just make a little bit more ecology, so... Just fill it up the rest of the way with hermit crabs as much as we can. They'll just be in there being all cool and stuff. And I need to adjust my filtration a little better. Okay, we'll do like so. That's done. Player level up again. So there's that done. It's a nice big multi-species tank. Look at all the uh, prestige and whatnot that it generates for me. And with that one, I think I'm going to go ahead and pause the game actually because I don't think I have anybody who can do cleaning. I do not. Um, you know what? You can handle cleaning. And for now, I'll just call that good enough. Okay. There we go. So let's just make sure yep, one of those got marked as go, which means uh, somebody's on their way to go do that. I don't know where she is, but she's in there somewhere. Okay. So with that, now that we are, in fact, at the end of the episode here, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. I hope you've been enjoying the series. If you have been, check out the next episode. It'll be live tomorrow at the same time. But until then, adios.